Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good, evening. good evening. Okay, welcome. Good evening. Yes. yes. <laughs> How are you guys? Well, I'm How going to introduce myself. My name is Carmen Beteta, and I'm going to be your teacher for today and tomorrow, just to close this module. My name is Carmen Beteta. So you can call me Carmen if you want, okay? Welcome, Diego. Welcome, Marta. Uh, Jose Alfredo, welcome to your class. Hey, Martinez. Thank you, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Okay, there you go. Someone had the TV on, right? Okay, we're just giving some minutes for everybody to connect, okay? How are you? Are you okay? How was your day today? How are you guys? Jose Alfredo, how are you? Are you okay? Fine, 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 fine. thank you. Great, great. Fine, thank you. Fine, thank you. Great. Okay, we're going to start just with a little review. Okay, I want each one of you introduce yourself to me. What are you going to say? For example, you are going to answer, what's your name? What's your name? Okay. You are going to say, what's your name? So let's start for Jay Martinez. What is your name? My name is Joseph Raiguber Martinez. Okay. Uh, Joseph, <laughs> Joseph or Jose? Joseph, Joseph Raiguber, o sea, Jose Rigoberto Martinez. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> good, good. So, um, nice to meet you, Jose. Okay. Uh, now, what is your name or your full name, Diego? My name is Diego Serrano Grande. Okay, nice to meet you, Diego Serrano. Good. So let's think here we have Marta Isabel. What are your last names, Marta? Your last name. Your first name is Marta. Your middle name is Isabel, right? So what is your last name? Sosa. Espinosa. Espinosa Sosa. Oh. Espinosa Sosa. Okay, great, great. Nice to meet you, Marta Isabel. And do you like to be called Marta or Isabel? Um, what do you prefer? Los dos, o Marta, o, o Marta Isabel, los dos juntos, o Marta. Okay, okay. Together, Marta, Isabel, together, join. Sí. Okay, great. Sí. So now I'm just reading here, Jose Alfredo, but I, I want to ask you, what is your name? Uh, my name is Jose Alfredo Flores. Okay, nice to meet you, Jose Alfredo Flores, sí. and welcome to your class. I'm going to repeat what I said at the beginning of the class. My name is Carmen Beteta. Carmen Beteta. Carmen Beteta. Yes. And you may call me Carmen. Okay. You can mm. 
Tell me anytime you want to ask. If you have a question, you can tell me. Carmen, may I ask you something? Okay. okay. Let's see. Let's see here. Uh, have you done your homework? Your homework? In, la, in the platform? In la plataforma? ¿Han estado haciendo sus tareas? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, great, great. Do you have any difficulty or any question or any doubt that you want to tell me? And I can help you because this is like a tutorial today. <laughs> okay, so let's see. The first topic, it is to introduce yourselves, right? So we said, What's your name? My name is, and we say our names. Then we say, what's your last name? Okay, uh, Marta gave us an example. My last name is, my last name is Espinosa, right? So let's go to the, um, just let me share a little because we have two kind of questions, two kind of questions. Hay dos clases de preguntas. In Spanish, we want to know something and we want an answer like si sí or no, right? We want an answer just yes or a no answer. That's the first kind of question. Esa es la primera clase de preguntas, right? Cuando queremos nada más la respuesta si sí o no, correcto. And we have the other questions that you need a word, WH word. Do you know the WH words? Yes. WH, yes. WH words. What, right? Where? Why? What? Correct. So now we are going to see just a little of this for you to check something. For example, when we introduce ourselves, just let me get there because I have some other things here. One second. It moved. Se me movió todo, right? One second, please. Okay, we have some other questions with WH, right? So we say what, why, where, and let me show you three questions that they are very important in the first, in the very, very first conversation you can have with, with someone. In la primera um, plática que ustedes pueden tener con alguien, hay tres preguntas básicas. The first one was, what's your name, right? The second one, what could be? Do you know what other can be? What's your name? And then? What? What's your last name, right? What's your last name? Just one second because I can't find it here. For example, I have this, one moment. It moved everything, I'm sorry. Okay, and this is the other question, right? Where do you work? Right? Sometimes when we introduce ourselves in our company, we say, what's your name? What's your last name? Where do you work? And the fourth one, what do you do, right? What's your name? What's your last name? What do you do? And what is your name? Oh, just give me one second because it moved completely. One moment. I don't know why it moved. No sé por qué se me movió todo. Permítanme un momento. Just 
here it is. There we go. I'm going to share that screen. Okay, and this are, just one moment. Por alguna razón no me permite darlas una por una. Okay. Siempre me sucede cuando ya estoy en el momento. Todo lo prueba uno y luego <laughs> sale el. Sí, tal vez porque está en PDF. Ajá, está en PDF, sí. Si estuviera en PowerPoint, creo que sí le diera una a uno. Sí, but I don't have it in PowerPoint in this computer, but just I'm going to take that in consideration for the next class. It moved everything. Just one second. There we go. Okay, I'm going to show you this one first. And we are going to practice these questions. Because usually these are the questions that we have more problems, right? So the first question in the first conversation that we can have, la primera pregunta que podemos tener en una conversación con alguien, what is your name, right? But we say, what's your name. Then, where do you work? What do you do? Do you know these questions? Yes? Do you know? ¿Ya habían visto estas preguntas? Sí? Yes. Okay. Yes. So now we're uh, going yes. just to practice. Okay. What's your name? What's your name? What do you do? What? what do you do? 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 Now let's practice some um some kind of pronunciations like what do you do? Right? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What Okay, let's try. Tratemos de imitar la, la, la pronunciación con la inflexión que le hacemos. What do you do? 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 Very good. Now, the other one. What do you work? What do you work? What do you work? Where did 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 you work? Now let's think about the answer. What is the answer for what's your name? Ah, we say my name is Carmen Beteta, right? What's your name? My name is Carmen Beteta. What do you do? I am an English teacher, right? I am an English teacher. Now you are going to say your occupation or your profession here. And we use the verb to be. What do you do? For example, what do you do, Jose Alfredo? What do you do? What do you do? Yes. What is your occupation? What is your profession? I am. Mm -hmm. I am. I am. Uh, an or a. Mm -hmm. I am. Uh, a docente. No. Okay, I am a teacher, Docent. right? I am a teacher. I am a we teacher. We could say I am a teacher. Yeah, I am, I a, am teacher. a teacher. Oh. Very good. Very good, Jose. So I am a teacher. So what do you do? I am a teacher. 
I am a teacher. Uh -huh. Where do you work? Then you say the company where you work. For example, let's think about if you don't want to say the place where you work is okay, but you can make this up. We could say invent, but we don't say invent. We say made up, right? Or make up, inventar, make up. Let's make up a place. For example, where do you work? I will say, I work at Inglés Corporativo, right? I work at Inglés Corporativo. But now, where do you work, Jay Martinez? Jose. I, I work, I work uh, at... I work uh, at... Okay, I work at... Consejo Salvadoreño del Café. Okay. I work at Consejo Salvadoreño del Café. Right? So what is the important thing here? What is the important thing? The important thing is how to answer. Right? How to answer. If someone asks you, what's your name? Uh, my name is, that's the answer, right? And we say our name. What do you do? I am a, I am a, right? But for example, if I am an accountant, I'm not going to say a, I'm going to say an. Why? Porque la siguiente palabra comienza con vocal, ¿verdad? So we are going to say I am an accountant, for example, right? Yo soy una contadora, right? I am a teacher i am an accountant correct so now when someone asks you where do you work where do you work then you say i work at i work at that is the answer right so these are very important questions for the first conversation. Estas son unas preguntas muy importantes para su primera conversación con alguien que ustedes se presentan, okay? So now, do you have any question about this? Do you have any question? Hello, I'm seeing over there an LG12345, someone else. Welcome for the one that, bienvenido to your class, I'm going to introduce myself again. Hello, and my name is Carmen Vedeta. I am going to be your teacher for today and tomorrow, okay? And we are doing a little review. We're just giving a review. Do you have any question about the questions here? What's your name? Where do you work? What do you do? Tienen alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? No, teacher. No? Okay. What do you think it could be the most difficult part when we ask questions? ¿Cuál creen ustedes que es la parte más difícil cuando nosotros hacemos una pregunta? ¿O ustedes tienen alguna dificultad y me pueden decir qué es lo que más se les dificulta? ¿No questions? Martita. Teacher, okay. uh, uh -huh. a mí se me dificulta el WH con la frase para, digamos que para responder y para poder redactarla. Ok, I understand. So let's, let's think about the uh, first word. Next 
There we go. Okay. Where? Where? This is a very important word. Lo primero que yo les puedo ayudar para que se ubiquen and how to make the question and how to think about a question is the WH word. For example, where? You need to know about places. Can you give me an example of a place? Pueden darme un ejemplo de lugar? De algún lugar? Places? The lake. Lake, exactly. There you go. Lake. The what park, other? The park, yes. Good. What other place do you know in English? The river. River, uh huh. The city, uh huh. Let's think about let, oh mountain good. I I'm I I can tell that you want some vacations now, right? Because look, lake, yeah. park, river, and mountain. Oh my god. So you I, I, you need these vacations, right? <laughs> you yeah, need some holidays, time. yeah, for rest. <laughs> now let's let's think about the places where we work. For example. We could say a doctor works in a hospital, right? So if I want to know about a place, I use this word, where, where, okay? But if I want to know about a thing, I use what? Correct. When do we use what? For example, I want to know about a thing. Correct? Going to do this. Where, when I want to know about places. Can you tell me a name of the thing? For example, I could say computer, it's a what? Uh-huh. What else? A name is a what? Uh-huh. What other thing? things? Shirt? Uh-huh. <laughs> What else? Let's think about the food. Do you remember the food names? Food? Nombres de comida? Pizza. Mm. Yes, Pollo. pizza is Pizza-y. what? Fish. Fish. Chicken. Uh-huh. Chicken. Chicken. Chicken is what? Uh-huh. Mm. Pork? Did you say pork? Yes. yes. Okay. What else? Bread is what? Uh huh. Okay. Correct. So these are what? These are things that we want to know. So we ask what? What do you use for this class? I use a computer. What is your name? Ah, my name is Carmen. Uh, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a shirt, okay? What do you like to eat? I love pizza, right? So if we need to know about a thing, then we use what, correct? Do you yes. have any question about these two words? No, or yes. <laughs> Don't worry, you can tell me anything you want. I need to hear you guys. I need to hear you. For example, let's think about this, what I'm going to show you now. One, one second. Oh, I wanted to, to erase that. Just one second. There we go. There we go. So now I want you to see this conversation, okay? What's your name? My name is? My name. And then you say your name, right? So then how do you spell your last name? 
or how do you spell your name? What do you do and where do you work? So now let's think about, for example, Diego. I'm going to Hello. ask and you are going to answer, okay? I ask the question oh. and you say the answer. For example, what's your name? My name is Diego. Excellent. How do you spell your name? How do you spell your name? Serrano. Uh -huh. How do you spell it? S E R R A A N E O. Great. S E O. Let's do it again. How do you spell your last name, Diego? Diego. Diego. Okay, let's Diego. think about this. Can someone else um, help to Diego? Help Diego? Hello? Someone can uh, help Diego to spell Diego? Alguien puede ayudarle a Diego también a deletrear el nombre Diego? D I I I E I I uh -huh. correct O Oh. Oh. oh, okay. So you see, these are things that we already know, but we're just practicing. Now, what do you do, Diego? I am a reclutador de personal. Okay, so I am a personal recruiter. I am a personal recruiter. Personal, personnel recruit, recruiter. Recruiter. Okay. Personnel recruiter. Recruiter. Can you say it with me? Personnel recruiter. A personnel recruiter. Recruiter. I am a personnel recruiter. Recruiter. Yes. Great, Diego. Great. So, where do you work, Diego? I work at Magnum Seguridad. Security. Okay, you work at Magnum, right? So now let's think about these other. Do you have any question about this conversation? Do you have any question? No, no teacher. No questions? No. Let's see. Jose Alfredo, and I have someone here without a name, so I, I don't know how to call you. No sé cómo decirle. Um, que se ha conectado con un LG. Uno, dos, tres, stylus two. What is your name? No. Quizás no le escucha. Creo que no, ¿verdad? No se Pero ese, eh, eh, se llama Edgardo. Ah, ok. Edgardo. Yes, teacher. Hi. Yes. So, let's say that in English. Who answered? I don't, I, I couldn't identify who answered, but uh, let's see. His name is Edgardo, right? Third yes. person, remember. Mm -hmm. His name is Edgardo, so now let's ask. Edgardo, what do you do? Uh, I am, uh, I am uh, a technician. A technician? Yes. Okay, I am a technician. Be confident. Uh, I am a technician. Am a technician. Mm -hmm. Say that. I am a technician. I am a technician. Good. And where do you work? Uh, Consejo, at Consejo Salvadoreño del Café. Okay, great. So you have to answer, I work at, 
and then uh, you say, mm, right? Complete. I work at, mm -hmm. and you say the name of your company, correct? I so I there work, we go. There we go. I, I work at Consejo Salvadoreño del Café. Great, Edgardo. Great. Well done. So we are going to continue with this because we have to learn something else that we need about the third person. Okay. The third person. For example, the actions in my company. Let's think about. I have, I opened the store, for example, but he opens, right? Do you remember that? ¿Se recuerdan de la tercera persona que le ponemos la letra S al verbo? Do you remember yes. that? Yes. Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. Now, let's see this. Yes. This is what I want you to see. She writes letters. She checks his email, right? She or he, I'm sorry, she checks her email, okay? Her, remember? Her is for she. Let's repeat after me, okay? She writes letters. Letter. She, she writes Writes. Writes. Esta pronunciación de la letra S en el verbo hace la gran diferencia de cuando yo hablo de mí. Por ejemplo, for example, if I say I write for letters, example. but she writes letters. Okay, we have she to do this writes. pronunciation. She writes letters, correct? Okay. She writes. He writes letters. Do you see she the letter writes. S at the end? Writes, correct? Okay, here. Writes, correct? Letter S. If you see, we have a letter S here. So, she balances, balances, balances the accounts, for example. Mm -hmm. Hace los balances en las cuentas, right? She balances the accounts, for example. Correct? Right. Do you have any question about the third person? Do you have any question? No. No questions? No question. No. Okay. No question. Good. So now let's think about the WH words. If we want to ask to, about the third person, now we know that we need a WH word. Where, what, why, okay? But for the third person, we say, where does she work, correct? Where does she work. Let's go back here. Okay, do you have any question about that? Okay. 
Just let me show you this. This is just a little example and a little exercise, okay? We're going to do just a little exercise. Okay, we have some verbs or actions. We want to say this in the third person. For example, I play, she, what will be the answer here? Or I mean, what is the third person here? She? Place. Place, good. Place. Good. So now let's see the other one. I wash. He, I wash the clothes, right? I wash my clothes. So he, wash. he, wash, uh -huh. wash, wash the clothes, washes. Oh, the clothes. this is a different case. Remember, here we add only a letter S, but here we add. E S. Do you see that? I play, she plays. I wash, he washes. Right? Wash. Correct. So wash. I drive my car. Correct? I drive my car. Right. He mm -hmm. drive. Drive. I want to hear the letter S at the end. He drives. he drives, drives. correct, drives. drives, correct. So now let's see here. Let's move a little this. Mm -hmm. I fly, no, I can't fly, Light. but let's imagine, right? Light. But a plane, Light. eat, ah, a, a mosquito, right? A mosquito, uh-huh. Ah, uh, we have to change. Nice. We change nice. the letter Y, cambiamos la Y for a letter I, I exactly. Yes. And we add yes. ES, correct? Lies. 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 So if you see, Lies. we have uh, one case here, it's only letter S, right? I cannot go back. So. Play, I play, she plays. I wash, he washes. I drive my car, he drives his right. car. Correct? Mm -hmm. I can fly, right? But I can't. But a mosquito flies. A mosquito flies. Correct? Fly. We change letter Y for letter I and add letter ES. Let's think about help. I help you. Now, he. Uh-huh. Um, Can you tell me the third person for help? Helps. Helps. Helps, helps right? Helps. helps. Uh -huh. Just a letter S. Correct? Helps. He helps. Good. Now, watch. I watch. I watch you guys. So watch. <laughs> I watch. He mm -hmm. or she uh -huh. watches. 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 Right? Watches. 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 I like watches. pizza. She likes. Mm -hmm. Likes. 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 Correct. Likes. Good. Likes. Likes. Correct. Likes. I like pizza. He likes pizza. She likes pizza. We like pizza. We don't say likes for we or they, right? We say like. And she, he, it likes. Correct. Like. I cry. She or he? Christ. 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 Aha, Christ. we change. It's the same case as fly, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. We change and then we have Christ. Nice. Correct? Christ. Correct. 
There we go. I -E -S. So now let's go with go. Uh-huh. I go, he or she. She goes. 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 The, the, uh, the pronunciation is goes. goes. But we goes. write goes. 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 Now yeah. let's think about teach. Teach. I teach, teaches. Teaches. and Jose teaches. teaches, right? Teaches. Teach, teach, teach. Yes, because it's teach. explosive, right? So it needs an ES, so teaches, teaches, teach. watch, teach. washes, right? Watch. Washes, watches, ah. teaches. If you see, teaches. they are similar. They are similar to pronunciation. Washes, watches, teaches, right? So, yes. carry. Can carry. you say yes. she carries? Carries. Carries. Correct. We need a letter E S. Excellent. Start. 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 Correct. Start. Start. Pronunciation Start. is. Start. 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 Right? Start. 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 Is this? Start and we add just a little S. Yes. S. Start. Right? Start. Start. Kiss. I kiss yes. my husband. Kisses. Right? So. Kisses. 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 Yes. And be careful and don't get confused with the plural because the plural is the same right kisses a kiss to kisses but i kiss she kisses right así que no se confundan con el plural kisses porque el plural kisses. es lo mismo kisses right so tidy 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 like this we change letter Y. Ladies. But yes, Ladies. but Ladies. here. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. This one, this enjoy is it. an exception, right? Because here enjoy. we don't say enjoy it, right? Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. And no, here we don't say enjoy it. It's enjoy. only enjoys, right? Enjoy. 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 Only. This is an exception. Because yes, this is an exception. Enjoy. Correct? This is an exception. Uh -huh. Why? Because here we have a vowel. Porque tenemos la vocal O, I. Uh -huh. Ahí. Entonces no podemos ponerle ES porque sería irnos con todo el O, I, E. ¿Verdad? Three letters. So. Mix. 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 The pancakes. Mix it. Mix it. Mix it. Mix it. Mix it. Mix it. Excellent. Great. Yes. If you see, yes. this is the third Mixes. person. Third person. So Mixes. now I want you to check Mixes. some other things, but the most important thing today is that tomorrow you have to do your final exam. Ustedes tienen que hacer su examen final mañana, ¿verdad? Entonces, acuérdense que en la en la um, en la plataforma en the platform you have your final exam. Do you have any questions about doing that? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta para que yo les pueda ayudar con eso? Del final. Ahorita solo he tomado algunos temas que son de dificultad, ¿ok? Pero en realidad han habido muchísimos temas en el curso, ¿verdad? En donde tenemos que poner especial atención. La especial atención en este caso es que uh, cómo hacer preguntas, ¿verdad? Cómo hacer preguntas utilizando las palabras de pregunta. Which are the question words? ¿Cuáles son las palabras para preguntas? Can, let's repeat. What? Where? Why? Correct. Right. 
no somos creativos. La creatividad es la capacidad. Y cuando queremos que solo nos respondan que sí y que no, we use do you, right? Does she. All right? Do you remember that? So now let, let's see. Please. We are going to the platform now. I see a question here. Sara Elizabeth. Martinez Quintana, one second. Oh, she said hello. Hello, Sarah. Welcome. Sarah, are you there? Okay. Good, hello, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Sarah. My name is Carmen and I'm your teacher for today and for tomorrow. Okay. Welcome okay. to your class, Sarah. Do you have any question about what you... Uh, what you have been studying, lo que han estado estudiando, ustedes tienen alguna pregunta que quieran hacerme? No, teacher, yo ya hice los exámenes. Okay, good, good. Great. Gracias. Thank you. Okay, this is the uh, platform, right? Remember that you have to answer, you have to read well. Double check, double check, chequen dos veces, right? You can do it as many times as you want. Pueden hacerlo las veces que ustedes necesiten hacerlo. The purpose here is that you to learn. El propósito es que lo aprendan muy bien. Correct? All right. So let's see, let's see here. Do you have any question about the final exam? Do you have any question about section one? No. No? no, no okay, question. correct, good. About section two? No. By the way, um, uh, Marta Isabel, by the way, do you live in an apartment or do you live in a house? I live in a house. Great. Um, Edgardo, where do you live? Do you live I, in an apartment? Uh, no, I live um, in the house. Great, good, in a house. Good, good, great. Diego, where do you live? Do you live in an apartment or do you live in the house? An apartment. I live, you've got to answer I like this. I apartment. live. I live in an apartment. In an apartment. Okay. I live in an apartment. Listen. I live in an apartment. I live in an apartment. Great. So, now, do you have any question about the professions? No? no? Okay, section no. four. What food go is good for you? Healthy food, right? Healthy food. Do you like broccoli? Yes. Yes, yes you do. Great. <laughs> I, like uh, I, I don't like too much. I don't like too much broccoli. <laughs> I really don't enjoy it. But I have to eat it, right? I have to eat it because it's healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay. Now let's talk about the sports then. Let's go to the sports. I can. Uh -huh. Let's talk about the sports. 
One second, let me get there. Mm -hmm. So now you know to talk about your routine, you know what to say what you like, what you don't like, right? Any other conversation, guys? Any other question that you have about any other conversation? Mm hmm. No. Okay. Now, let's go. I, I was talking about the sports, but let's go better for the third person. Is this is the most important thing that we need to know? So, if I ask, where does Sara work, Diego? Where does Sara work? Do you know? No. Okay, just let's make it up, right? We could say Sara works at. That's the answer. Okay. So, for example, I ask Edgardo. Edgardo. Yes. Where does Sara work? Uh, suppose, suppose uh, she uh -huh. she she works uh -huh. in apartment. Okay. No, 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 no. Work. Got, uh, no, no. Let's she, go back to work. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. she, she works. Uh, in company. She works at. At in company. Aha. Uh -huh. She works at a company. At your company. Good. Great. Mm -hmm. At your company. Very good. Very good. So. This is the other thing that we need to know. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's think about another person. Where does your sister work? Do you have a sister? I am a sister. Do you have a sister? Yes. No. No? OK. Do you have a brother? Yes. 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 Okay, great. So if you see these are questions only for yes or no answer, right? But if I want to ask, where does your brother work? Who has a brother? ¿Quién tenía un hermano? Yo. Okay, where does your brother work? My brother works in call center. Okay, good. Good, good. So let's remember the third person, letter S at the end in every in every um verb so let's go to the lessons my work my, my where does your sister work is is uh, uh huh where does your sister work who has a sister? Mm -hmm. I am. Okay, it's almost time to go, but just I want you to think about what's the most difficult part of this module. ¿Cuál ha sido la mayor dificultad que ustedes tienen? Me decía Marta Isabel que formular la pregunta, right? Formular la pregunta. En, y, y a manera de resumen, les puedo decir, para formular la pregunta, recuerden siempre la palabra WH, right? WH word, para poder hacer la pregunta. We said what? where, why, how, correct? And then we remember third person or me, right? So let's go back to the... platform.
And now let's think about the sports. Okay? Let's think about the sports. I know you already um, see that. So we're going to read first. What sports do you play, right? What sports do you play? Do you play any sports? What sports do you play? Marta, Sara, Jay, Jose, Diego? Sports. I, what sports do you I play? play? Football. I, Football. I play soccer. I play soccer. Soccer. Great. I play swimming. I play? Swimming. Oh, swing. great, great. Swimming. Swing. Swimming. Good. Mm -hmm. Great. Basketball. I am a uh, ride a uh, bicycle. Oh, good, good. But usually we don't say play with a bike. We say I ride a bicycle or I like to ride a bicycle, right? We don't say play with a bicycle. Or for example, with swimming, uh, I think it was Sara, right? Uh, you said swimming. So we say I swim, right? I swim, I swim. I swim. Mm -hmm. I swim. Why? Because we are using the things every day or today or the days that you do that. So who do you who do you play? Uh, in this case, the answer is I play hockey and baseball, right? But let's think about Sara. Sara, who do you swim with? Who do you swim with? I play. Uh-huh. I swim. I play. I I play with, uh -huh. with some with some friends from work. Oh, okay, great. You you are just reading here, right? I play with some friends from work. Okay, but who do you swim swim with? You swim. You can say I swim with some friends from work. Correct? I swim with some I friends swim. from work. Uh -huh. Correct? I swim with some friends from work. I'm from work. Great. Um, let's see, Jose. Uh, what sports do you play? Jose Martinez. What sports do you play? Well, I play hockey and baseball. Good. Who do you play baseball with? Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friend for work. Okay. Let's say work. word by word. Para darles una idea, cuando nosotros leemos así, leamos palabra por palabra y no nos preocupemos. You be confident. Be confident. I play with, I play with Say it with me. I play I with. Play with uh, I play with. I play with. Some I friends from with, work. Some, some friends some from friends work. work. Or work. Or work. Let's put some rhythm, right? I play with some friends from work. I play with some I friends from with, work. I play with some or, friends from work. Play play Okay, and we could ask, why with your friends from work? Because you can say, oh, we have a team. We have a team. Tenemos un equipo. We have a team, right? We have a team. We have a team. Correct. So where do you play? Where do you play? If you see a place. Where do you play? We play, we play, play, uh, play until in park. the park. Until park. Okay, good. And how often do you practice? We practice, practice. one. We practice once a one week. Or a week. I would, I would. We practice once. 
or twice? Once or twice a week. We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sunday. Sunday. Great. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock. Great. Good morning. Good morning. Great. Let's listen to the to the audio and just listen, okay? Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to ask and answer simple present W questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Did this guy practice a sport? No, right? No practica ningún deporte, right? I don't practice any sport. I don't practice any sport. ¿Hay alguien en, que no practique deportes acá? Yes, I don't. I am teacher. Okay, then no you practice. can. Oh, great. So what is the answer? I don't practice I any sport. I don't I practice, don't practice any, sport. any sport. Good. If someone asks you, what sports do you play or what sports do you practice? I don't practice any sport. Any sport. I don't any practice sport. any sport. Great. I, I don't, don't practice any sport. sport. I don't. I don't. I don't practice any sport. 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 Okay. Great. Great. You did a good job today, guys. You did a mm -hmm. good job. I think uh, you were uh, wondering why this new teacher, right? But this is our first class together and we are just doing a review, but I need you to be um, <laughs> confident, right? Confident that this is everyday English, okay? This is Everyday English. Este es el inglés que todos los días se habla, right? Everyday English. What Every sports day. do you like? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Where do you work? Um, what does she do? What does she work? What does he do? What does he work? Okay? Uh, he work at or where does he work, right? So, it's time to finish this class, but I don't want to leave before uh, seeing or studying a little about the final exam. In the final exam, you have to read. Correct. In the final exam, you have to read. Tienen que leer. Read very well. Read and double check. You have six questions or six parts. There are six parts. If you count one, two, three, four, five, and six parts. Correct. Correct. Then you have to read the instructions, and it says. Uh, let's go to the first part, listening, listening. You have to listen to the conversation and select the correct answer, correct? You say, uh, 
It says, listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. You play and then you answer every question. Correct? Correct. You answer every question with the correct answer. You check here, click, right? You do a click on this little box. For example, where's Justine from? Then after you listen to the conversation, you will know the answer. All right? Welcome, everybody. Good. So, do you have any question here of what you have to do? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta de lo que tienen que hacer acá? No, teacher. No? No. No. Correct. So, let's go to the second part. In the second, you will have uh, read the answer, then write the question now. Read the answer, then write the questions. Read the answer, read. Uh -huh. Read the answers, then write a question. You give a click here, right? For example, what's your name, right? Here, are your parents in Peru? Your parents in Peru? Uh -huh. No, they are not in Peru. They are in Canada. Oh, they, they are not in Peru. They are in Canada. So are you are going Canada. to read letter A are, and no. letter B. Correct? Yes. Correct. Letter A will be the question for this answer. Correct? Any question? About this section? No. No? Are you sure? Okay, number three, section three. It says choose the correct adjective to complete the sentence. Choose the correct adjective to complete the sentence. What's the best description for Larry? Larry isn't serious. He is, and then you check. What's the word adjective here missing? Right? Larry isn't serious. He is, and then you check or click the correct answer. And you go number two, and then number three, number four, and there you go. Then it's going to activate the submit thing. Now, choose the correct answer to the question. Then you have to select an option there. Is this Sue's car? Then you go and you select your answer. And then you yes, do no. a submit, right? Submit. Do you have any question about this section? Questions? No. Okay, no. next one. Use the correct present continuous, for, continuous form of the verb. What is the present continuous? Are you wearing, that's present continuous, right? So are you wearing then the answer? What is the answer here? Correct? Yes. Okay. Well, if you have no more questions, well, let's well, check well. the last one and it says select the correct time. Here you have to check every clock. That it shows here a clock and then you say, what time is it? And you have to select the answer here, okay? You select what time is it, right? What time is it? Then you select the correct answer. Any question here? No teacher. Correct. No? No. Okay, great. No. Good, good. So this was the last part and I think you may have a good evening tonight and let's uh, meet tomorrow, okay? Let's meet tomorrow. Okay. Have a great night, guys. Thank you, teacher. Good night, thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night. Bye, teacher. bye. Okay, bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.
Chao.